thanks for your patience, ladies and gents, and uh, congratulations go to Carlos Corberan for his team and a very important win, which still needed to be earned, did it not, Carlos? I think, of course, it's very important, the, the three points in one game, that uh, the, the fact that one player was sent off, for me, changed a lot the dynamic of that game. Um, your team had to be patient, and so did the fans. Tell us how you think the the initial stages of the game went for Huddersfield Town, Carlos, after Richard Stearman's dismissal. I think, as like you say, for me, the key, when you are playing against 10 players that are going to be more solid in defence, you need to be patient because if not, the, the key in, that, in this type of game is don't start to allow them to make any type of counter-attack and try to be attacking all the time that you can be attacking. For me, the team was managing, was finding a good balance for me in creating a good chances as soon as Stillman was uh, sent off and arriving to the box. It's true that we find some double passes and some combination between players that unfortunately couldn't go inside to the, to the box, but for me, the team, in the first chance, in the first half, as soon as uh, we start to attack with one player more, for me, we were looking for, we were creating some good opportunities. And after it's true that as soon as they start to don't make transitions to attack, I was feeling the, I was thinking that the fact to put, <coughs> play with one more midfielder instead to central back, that's what we change at the Pison, could help the team to can attack more because was the, the fact that was very important today to attack more against one team that were more focused to defense. So, in fact, it was that tactical substitution. There was no injury uh, to Matty Pearson. No, 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 no. It was just the decision to, to play with it in as a midfielder, to put the midfielder that was in the middle of the pitch, Hoggy, as a central back, and to add one possible more, one attacking player more in the middle of the pitch. Did you need to, to give your team new instructions, Carlos, either at the end of the first half or during half time? I'll tell you why I ask, because I thought we saw some signs of impatience and frustration amongst the players who were eager to get the result but were, were really struggling to try and find the method without some guidance. I think it's exactly what is important because in some moments you can be thinking that just the fact that you attack against 10 is going to make simple to create a chance and you need to be patient because if you start the attack on the right and you go directly on the right you are not going to use the fact that you have one player more. If you start the attack on the right and you finish the attack on the left, you start to move the defenders and they have one defender less. If you start to attack, you start the attack in the middle and you make the other team compact, you are going to create more advantages on the sides. So for me, the key was to be patient to create the space and after to be aggressive to use the space. And sometimes it's easy and sometimes we see the possibility and sometimes it takes a little bit more of time. But in general, I think that in some moments we did the money as well, but in many of the moments for me, uh, the team was looking for the opportunity to make the ball arrive to Toffoli in a good condition high on the pitch or to make the ball arrive to Sorba Thomas in high on the pitch or to have a good combination between Holmes, Sinani, Danny Ward in the middle of the pitch. And Carol Lighting added the dynamism that you needed anyway. How big an impact do you think he had individually? No, I think sometimes the, to play the first game is a little bit of complicated because we know that even if he was working with us in the club, only has been working, only has been training one day with the team. I think the best of correlating we can see with the pass of the trainings, with the pass of the games and created the, the necessary relation with the team. Because sometimes just emotionally, I think has happened many things to him in a very short period of time. But I think at the end, he was helping the team to attack more. Uh, for me, uh, Sinani was playing excellent as a midfielder and held the team to attack more. The fact that we put with Pipa one player that could attack more as a midfielder for me held the team to attack more. And after the, as soon as we start to see more possibilities with the cross it with the game, uh, Rhodes have a positive for me uh, contribution to the result that we achieved today. And then came the relief of Dwayne Holmes's goal with a little bit of help from that deflection. Um, but the way that your team continued is, is also a hidden value, I think, because they could have sat on the 1-0 lead always dangerous, especially after what we've seen here at recent home games. Yes, but it's true that we are focusing ourselves. We wanted to go for more because for me, the, the, the emotion of the team was that one. We did the, the, all the changes, so the team was clear. They said that the structure and the position of the players to, to manage the situation after we scored the goal. And the idea go for, for the second goal that allowed us to, be, to dominate after the, goal more, the, ball, the game more with the ball and to be more calm, protecting better one, one result.
You've certainly used the resources available to you. Congratulations on the result, Carlos. How satisfied are you after what was a difficult night's work? Potentially frustrating. I think satisfied because sometimes one advantage situation is not easy to, to use as much as we think that we can use. So when I was watching that there was a good moment of football for me of the team, there were good chances of the, of the team. And especially we control the counter-attacks because sometimes you can see more chances or more counter-attacks. Then uh, as soon as I see the team adapted well to the niche of the game, always is a positive new. May I ask you finally, uh, perhaps a little bit more objectively, Carlos, about Derby County. Their fans seem to be celebrating the fact that they still have their team. Uh, and, and made for, for a really good atmosphere. You had a long conversation with Wayne Rooney at the end of the match. Can you share a little bit with us wh why you would have wanted to have a conversation with him? You weren't arguing, apparently. No, 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 no. We were talking before the game. I, I say congratulations for them, for Rooney and his staff, because for me they are making a brilliant job, and Derby County is one team very complicated to beat, and they are playing with many young players, but they are making for me something excellent. In, uh, in facing that varsity with a lot of respect to, to football and to the club that they represent. And after the game, I was saying to him just that the, the fact that they were one player wasn't off had a lot of impact for me today in the dynamic of the game. Respectful as always. Thank you for talking to us live on BBC Radio Leeds, Carlos. Can you relax now ahead of the FA Cup tie against Barnsley? No, it is true that we don't have a lot of time to, to can relax. Now it's just time to recover and we go again in another uh, special game, in another type of competition that demands from us to prepare the game in the best possibility that we have to prepare. And we'll talk to you ahead of the cup tie. Thank you, Carlos. You're welcome.